bitches, every city in my tribe. Uh, look, 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 look behind. Booty dominate the world, peaches right. Um, if this person doesn't, oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, wasn't expecting you to get to me. Um, I'm very pro-choice, but I have a kind of different perspective on some things. As somebody who has been through a situation, a lot of people that talk about abortions haven't been through it themselves or been in a situation. Um, I have. And I was one of those minor children who was sexually coerced and raped for years. And of course, like, it wasn't a surprise when I missed a period. I came from a family who was very, like, Christian. And so I was always taught I was wrong. But then when it happened to me and I was an actual child, that completely changed very everything. Very sorry that happened to you. That's, yeah. I think that's never, one of the worst things that can happen to someone. I've never talked about this publicly. So I'm a little bit, like, nervous about it. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure it's very emotional. <laughs> so, you know, the the... I know a lot of people don't get the whole pro-choice is pro-life, but it's it's pro-my life as the minor, as the child who was forced into that situation. I didn't consent to having sex yeah. with that person. It's yeah. pro-my life. My life could have been completely ruined by that. And I was lucky that my body kind of handled it by itself and I didn't have to go through that. Like I ended up like either miscarrying or whatnot, but I was still put in that so <laughs> I really, yeah, I really can't that to that imagine that emotional trauma like I'm so sorry that happened to you and that was years ago and I still I've never talked about it publicly and so then when I get people that'll say like well I only approve of abortion in like rape or incest how are you going to prove those rape or incest cases like I never no. talked about how could you prove that I I'm going to go start my car really quick because I have an appointment but go ahead and keep talking yeah. Like, how can you how can you prove that somebody was raped? Or how can you prove any any of that? And people can say what it's only one percent, but in reality it's a lot more because nobody talks about it. Nobody women who go through this do not want to talk about what they went through because it's traumatizing. It's scary. So I guarantee you it's a lot more than that, quote, 1% that people like to say, because either no one believes us or no one talks about it. So I, I can almost promise. And a lot of the time with young women, we don't know, but we're being raped in some cases or sexually coerced. I was never taught like what rape was i was never taught what coercion was i didn't know i was being raped and coerced as a child like i was could you, could you yeah. say r word just because tiktok likes to ban yeah. for those kind of, thank you okay so i i never knew what was happening to me because the person who did this to me taught me that it was okay what they were doing and as a minor or as a child you don't know any better you don't you don't know any better that what they are doing to you is wrong because they told you that it's okay. So I think, you know, you can't just say only in these cases when we can't prove these cases. And <laughs> I don't I, I don't care if people think it's you know, like ending a life or not. It should be about the life of the person who is here. The life of the person who's breathing and has friends and family and is actually going through this. <laughs> no, uh, I, I can't imagine like the strength that it takes to share something like that. Um, like kudos to you. What a, what a strong heart and spirit. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I want to give a perspective to people who, and maybe you never even heard from somebody who's gone through this. No, um, I mean, I'm not sure people... uh, where, where you are. Um, um, 
I, I will say one of the most surprising things that has come from me kind of doing this is how many people have come on to share their experience, um, either mm -hmm. of, of pregnancy, of abortion, because I feel that's what is minimized a lot. Yeah. And I think every situation is a snowflake. So why would we want to implement policy that is a one size fits yeah. all? Just such a complex. So no, I, I really appreciate you showing how unique every situation is. And I wish that more people showed compassion and empathy to really understand like the, the gravity and the nuance of every situation. I think a lot of people hear about like the what if scenarios, but they've never heard from somebody who's actually been there. So it's a lot easier to say in a what if scenario that they've never talked to somebody that this is what this is what that what if person would do. But they've never actually heard from the the real people. And I'm hoping that might yeah. change some people's minds once yeah. you've actually looked. This is the face of somebody who survived through that. This is yeah, this and is somebody it's a very like. No, no, you're absolutely right. Um, yeah, thank you again for coming on and, and being so brave and so open. Um, I hope you've given, I, I've had such great conversations today. I hope everyone has found a new lens from, from everyone sharing their perspective. But I did give you a follow. Uh, you're welcome anytime here, doll. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a great weekend. You too. I'm so fucking cute, bitch.